The first thing you need to do in the ServiceNow Connector Configuration Wizard is to configure the ServiceNow Instance Connection. So when you browse to your ServiceNow Instance, you can find the URL for your ServiceNow Instance in the address bar of your browser. Just copy and paste the URL from your browser to the ServiceNow Instance field in the wizard. Just make sure that you don't paste HTTPS in front of it and also no slashes. The username and password that you need to enter in the wizard will be the same as the username and password you use to log into ServiceNow. From a security point of view, you should only use a ServiceNow account which only has access to manage incidents. So we will enter the ServiceNow username and password into the wizard and then we will still need to enter a client ID and a client secret. We can generate a client ID and secret in the application registry section of ServiceNow. So we'll log into ServiceNow and browse to the application registry section. In this example, we have already created a client ID and secret for our connector. Copy the client ID and paste it into the matching field in the connector wizard. And then do the same for the client secret. So now we can click test and if the test completes successfully you will see a check mark and the next button will become available.